Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a very spooky Halloween. Um, today's drawing is the Farm Art Challenge hosted by Dina Tollefson. And the whole thing took like a total turn for me. Like I had these grand plans of doing something quirky and weird. And when I actually got to drawing, I was like, Nah, scrap all of that, just do something basic. How about that? <laughs> but um, originally what I was going to draw was a bunch of farm animals, but they were like the farmers. And um, I, in my head, in my head I was like, I'm gonna do all of like the tractors and stuff, but they're gonna be shaped like dinosaurs. And like the farmer farm animals are gonna be like riding on a dinosaur tractor and all this cool stuff, right? And then like I sat down to draw it and I got so overwhelmed by how weird and, and all of the work that this weird like concept was gonna be and I completely scrapped it. I was like, no way. Let's just do something simple. <laughs> so that's what I did. Um, I decided uh, to do a horse. And I love horses. I think they're beautiful. And I found um, like a picture of a horse um, like with a plow attached to it. And like a, like an old school looking plow and then you know I found a picture of a rooster because I thought it would be cute instead of like the farmer guy like holding onto the plow handles like having uh, a rooster chilling on like the handle of it and uh, so that's that's the direction I went so I went from something totally chaotic to something totally chill <laughs> and, and and I'm not mad about it I think it looks great I like the finished product it didn't take near as long it only took me like two hours to like draw the whole thing from start to finish the other one I imagine would have took days I don't know <laughs> I don't know and then like I'm not even good at like doing like vehicles and stuff, so I, I just thought to myself, like, Megan, are you crazy? Are you, well, what in, what in your right mind made you think not only were you going to draw vehicles, like tractors and stuff, but you were going to try to convert them into dinosaurs, and, and then it would look good. <laughs> nah. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, let's be realistic here. <laughs> Maybe one day like when I'm like sketching in my little sketchbook I might like sketch up some like cute little doodles of it, but for the challenge This is what we got <laughs> So in any case, um, I started out by blocking out the colors and normally when I start like a drawing I start with like a really loose like gesture drawing like a sketch and then I will line that and then I'll color it um, but for this one I wanted to go for like a painterly vibe and um, I started out with digitally mind you um, the alcohol marker brush uh, I boxed out all the shapes tried to get all the colors I was color picking for my reference photo and once I got all the general shapes in then I went in with a like a pen brush and I started like lining all of it you know and after that I went to color on totally different layers and you know in digital art like you're using multiple layers think of them as like separate sheets of paper but they're see-through and that way I could have like a foreground middle ground background and it just makes the coloring process a whole lot easier and if you want to like um, I kind of worked front to back so that way when I got to the sky I can pull up another layer of color behind my horse and stuff and not have to color around my horse you know just things like that and originally I mean I was kind of loose with the line art but originally I was going to keep the line art in um, but then like toward the end there I like clicked off the line art layer and took the lines away and I really like how it turned out it looked it looked really like um, illustrative, like something you'd see in a kid's book or something. And I just thought that was so cute. So I spent maybe like the last 20 plus minutes or so just kind of cleaning up my edges a little bit, still keeping things kind of loose and um, just giving it that like soft, chill vibe. Um, and just kind of beefed up the shading a little bit, fixed a little bit of like, um, I guess just the shading and the highlights or whatever. <laughs> 
but ultimately I, I really like how it turned out and it's it's not too far off from like my normal style I, I don't even know if I had a style <laughs> sometimes I just do off the wall stuff this one kind of fell in line with something that I normally would do so there's that <laughs> I can't wait to see what everyone else draws I, I, I know like every time Dina does these challenges um, everyone who participates always does such amazing work so I am excited to see what everyone does and I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna be doing things like roosters and stuff um, or pigs oh pigs are cute oh man I should have stuck a pig in there shoot Oh, one of the things I did was my art piece that I really liked is the foreground had all this like built up like dirt and stuff that had already been plowed. So like I like just on blurred it. So it was giving like a bit of like um, depth of field, you know what I mean? Uh, the thing that I could probably have worked on more that I wasn't so happy with was the trees in the background. Um, they were so like lazily done and I probably could have worked a little more on those trees but ultimately like I still think that it turned out okay and I just just unblurred that as well <laughs> just to kind of like um, hide a little bit of the loose sketchy colors um, but yeah anyway I hope you guys are having a good day I had a great day today today is like mine and my husband's anniversary so we went on a date and we went to Cora and uh, it's like a revolving sushi bar so we ate some sushi and then we went to Daiso and he bought me like a little gator plush because I love gators and um and then after that we went to books of million and we got some books he got this one i'm looking at it fourth wing by rebecca yaros he took the like cover off of it but i don't know looks cool it's got a dragon on it, it says TR on the bottom. I don't know what that means. <laughs> and then I got some Zelda mangas. I always wanted Zelda mangas. You know me. I love Zelda. So he got me Majora's Mask. And I got Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. And I started Majora's Mask first. I'm a couple chapters in. And they just are so cute. And, you know, of course, dummy me, I'm over here thinking like, oh, I could draw a manga. I want to draw a manga. And, I mean, how hard can it be, right? <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, okay, Maggie, you draw stuff. You, you draw a manga. You draw a little comic. <laughs> I could not. <laughs> it's always good to be ambitious, though, I guess. <laughs> I drew one comic ever. One comic Oh my goodness, where is it? Let's see. I'll show you. It was so basic though. It was so like, I bet it was maybe this, this book. Hold on, I'm gonna find it. I'll show you my level of, this ain't the book, this ain't it. It's a different one. This book, question mark. We're gonna get it. We'll get there. Oh, come on, you. Aha! Yeah, it was also a Zelda comic, but okay. that was my comic. Ain't nothing like that book I bought today, though. That's so detailed. There's so much line work. It's so detailed. It's beautiful. It's composed so well. And then you had that like dollar store version comic <laughs> I mean we can do anything with enough uh, you know motivation and practice you know so I'm not gonna sit here and say that I couldn't if I actually focus on my time and energy into pulling off something like that but you know that's just how my brain works just like at the beginning of this video when I was like I got this big brain plan to do this really cool stuff like it just pops up in there and I'm like I can do this I can do this and then <laughs> nah 
Anyway, all right, all right. Well, I'm going to quit rambling on. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video and watching the art process. And like I said, I can't wait to see everyone else's farm you know, paintings and drawings and um, so on and so forth. And you'll have a great day. I'll catch you later. Bye.